This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculations with weak acids and bases. In our first example, we'll be calculating the pH of a solution given the initial concentration and the Ka of the weak acid. So a 0.750 mole per decimeter solution of ethanoic acid has a Ka of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 at 298K. Calculate the pH of the solution. So first we'll make an ice box. Ice stands for initial concentration, change in concentration and equilibrium concentration. The initial concentration of ethanoic acid is 0.750 moles per decimeter. The initial concentration of the ethanoate ion and the hydronium ion are both zero. The change in concentration for the ethanoic acid will be negative x and the change in concentration for the ethanoate ion and the hydronium ion will be plus x. The equilibrium concentration of the ethanoic acid is 0.50 minus x and x for both the ethanoate ion and the hydronium ion. To simplify our calculation, we're going to make an assumption. Because the value of Ka is so small, the assumption is 0.750 minus x is equal to 0.750. So that is that the equilibrium concentration of the ethanoic acid is equal to the initial concentration of the ethanoic acid. And this is a valid assumption to make because the value of Ka is so small. It's 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So next we write our expression for the Ka. We have the concentration of the ethanoate ion and the hydronium ion in the numerator and the concentration of the ethanoic acid in the denominator. So next we will substitute in our values. We have our value of Ka, the concentration of the ethanoate ion multiplied by the concentration of the hydronium ion is x squared and the concentration of the ethanoic acid is 0.750. So we'll rearrange the equation to find x which is the square root of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 multiplied by 0.750. This gives us a value of x of 3.7 times 10 to the negative 3. In the previous step we calculated x which is the concentration of hydrogen ions. Next we'll calculate the pH. So the pH equals negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration and if we do the calculation we end up with a pH of 2.43. Next we look at a calculation with a weak base. A 0.200 mole per decimeter solution of ammonia NH3 has a Kb of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 at 298K. Calculate the pH of the solution. So once again we set up an ice box, initial change and equilibrium concentrations. Our initial concentration of ammonia is 0.200 and for the ammonium ion and the hydroxide ion they are both 0. The change in concentration is negative x and plus x and plus x and the equilibrium concentration is 0.200 minus x and x and x. So as in the previous example, we can make an assumption. Because Kb is so small, the assumption is that 0.200 minus x is equal to 0.200. So that's the equilibrium concentration of the ammonia is equal to the initial concentration of the ammonia. And because the value of Kb is so small, this is a valid assumption to make. So next we write our expression for Kb. It's the concentration of the ammonium ion multiplied by the concentration of the hydroxide ion divided by the concentration of the ammonia. Next we'll input our Kb value and we have x squared divided by the concentration of the ammonia. When we rearrange the equation we get x equals the square root of 1.8 times 10 to negative 5 multiplied by 0.200. This gives us a value for x of 1.9 times 10 to the negative 3. So we've just calculated the value of x, which is the concentration of the hydroxide ions. From that, we can calculate the pOH, which is equal to the negative log of the concentration of the hydroxide ions. So when we do this calculation, we get a pOH of 2.72. As the question is asking for the pH, at 298K, the pH plus the pOH is equal to 
So therefore the pH equals 14.00 minus 2.72, which is the pOH, that gives us a pH value of 11.28.